hello viewers and uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is uh, like uh, systemic gonococcal infection you know uh, but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like sub subscribe and share these videos to support this channel you know and uh, and I come to the topic and uh, what is systemic gonococcal infection you know you know it's a sexually transmitted infection or sexually transmitted disease you know and it is caused by the bacterium Nasura gonorrhea you know and uh, it can infect both men and women and typically affects uh, one or more uh, of the body organs like maybe urethra or maybe throat or rectum and cervix you know and uh, most new cases uh, uh, of the infection uh, occur in women you know and the women are who are infected you know with the gonorrhea may also transmit the bacteria to their newborn babies you know, during the childbirth you know and uh, gonorrhea infections in babies typically affect their eyes you know more commonly you know and uh, the treatment uh, uh, is effective and it is available and uh, but many cases go untreated, undetected, you know. And over the time, the bacteria that causes agnoria can spread to the bloodstream and uh, travel to the other parts of the body, you know. And this can lead to the serious medical condition, which is known as systemic gonococcal infection, or also known as uh, uh, like the uh, disseminated gonococcal infection or DGI, you know. And uh, this is a serious condition, you know. The next thing, what are the symptoms of uh, the gonococcal, uh, this uh, gonorrhea, you know? Well, you know, you should keep in mind that not everyone who who is infected with the gonorrhea will have the symptoms in early stages, you know. And uh, you may, but if you have, then you may experience like uh, maybe anal itching, you know, or maybe spotting between the menstrual periods or swollen testicles or... Uh, painful bowel movements, you know, and uh, uh, painful urination or uh, increased vaginal discharges or maybe thick discharge from the penis, you know. So these are the common symptoms of uh, gonorrhea, you know. And uh, when gonorrhea infections uh, are not treated, you know, the bacteria can spread, causing the symptoms. And the specific symptoms depend on the area of the body which is affected by the bacteria, you know. And the symptoms that commonly occur with the, uh, like, uh, 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 DGI, you know, it includes like uh, fever or chills or maybe pain in the joints, you know, and uh, uh, pain in the uh, swelling of joints, you know, skin rashes or maybe the feeling of ill or generally uh, unwell, you know, feeling, you know. Now the next thing is, what are the causes of, uh, you know, the gonorrhea is an, as you know, that is a sexually transmitted infection, you know. And uh, that can spread through the vagina to the anal or the oral intercourse, you know. And uh, it can develop within two weeks of being infected with the gonorrhea, you know. And once the uh, it's in the bloodstream, you know, it can affect the various tissues and uh, causes the like uh, permanent damage, you know. And uh, you know, the gonorrhea is uh, a common sexually transmitted infection and certain groups are at higher risk you know. and uh, those groups may include like the people who have unprotected sex or the, uh, the people with the multiple sex partners or men and women who are under the age of 25 years and men and women who engage in like uh, uh, were sex workers you know so they are at high risk of getting this uh, infection you know now your doctor will check your to see if you have the gonorrhea or if uh, you have the symptoms of uh, uh, like uh, a DGI, you know. And the tests for the gonorrhea typically involve taking a sample or the culture, you know, from the infected area. And the sample is sent to the lab where it is analyzed for the presence of bacteria. And the results are mostly they are available within 24 hours, you know. And the cultures for testing can be obtained from like the blood from the skin lesions or maybe fluid from the joints, you know, and the cervix and throat, you know, 
or maybe the anus or maybe the urethra, you know. And uh, if your test is positive, uh, your doctor may order like additional tests to determine if you have any other sexually transmitted infection, you know, apart from the gonorrhea, you know. And the gonorrhea is often diagnosed along with the sexually transmitted infections, so such as maybe chlamydia, you know. And, uh, you know, you should be, you should get immediate treatment if you think that you have gonorrhea, you know. And untreated gonorrhea can spread and cause a serious and irreversible complications, you know. And the systemic uh, gonococcal infection is a complication of gonorrhea. Okay, that occurs when the gonorrhea, uh, this bacteria, enters the bloodstream, you know. And once it uh, enters the bloodstream, it's dangerous, you know. And you can develop other complications once the gonorrhea uh, have entered the bloodstream, you know. And uh, these may include like uh, uh, gonococcal arthritis or maybe gonococcal meningitis, you know, or gonococcal endocarditis, you know, which is a damage to the inner lining of the heart, you know, heart muscles, you know. And the gonococcal meningitis is uh, where the infection of the membranes covering the brain and the spinal cord occurs, you know. So this, these are very dangerous uh, medical conditions, you know, and uh, it could be life-threatening, you know, if not treated properly, you know. And the other complications uh, I may include infertility, you know. And the infection can spread uh, uh, to the fallopian tubes and the uterus in the woman and uh, it can cause like epididymitis in men, you know. So epididymitis means that uh, the inflammation and the swelling of the epididymis, you know, okay. And the untreated gonorrhea also increases the risk of getting and uh, spreading the HIV or AIDS, you know, uh, which is uh, uh, a very deadly disease, you know, or uh, syndrome, you know. And the gonorrhea can also be passed from mother to baby, you know, at the time of birth, you know. And the infection can cause blindness or maybe the, uh, like, uh, a scalp sores in the babies, you know, so it's a uh, very dangerous. Always get tested and treated, you know. Uh, once diagnosed, then what are the treatment options? Is the next, uh, you know, well, the treatment uh, of uh, uh, the gonorrhea and uh, DGI it depends on it, in, it, it includes the antibiotics, you know. And the penicillin was once the primary treatment for gonorrhea, but antibiotic resistance strains of gonorrhea made the penicillin ineffective, you know, uh, for the treatment of this condition. And the antibiotics called like cephalosporins, you know, are often used to treat this condition. And typically these medications are administered through the vein uh, in your arm, you know, and are the uh, intravenously you know so rather than by mouth you know so to speed up the uh, its effectiveness you know and the treatment also involves the identifying the source of the infection and if you have gonorrhea your doctor will ask you about the sex for partners and your partner will need to be tested and treated at the same time or if you are in a relationship you know and your partner have the if you have the gonorrhea, uh, your partner should be tested and treated at the same time, you know. And she should s stay away from uh, having the sex uh, unless you are until you are completely free from the infection, you know. And this can prevent the spread of the disease, you know. The next thing is about the outlook, you know. You know, uh, it's more likely that you will make full recovery from the gonorrhea. Uh, if you start the treatment quickly, you know, before it spreads to the bloodstream and affects other organs, you know. So it's very important that uh, if you think that you have the gonorrhea or any of your previous partners have been detected or uh, uh, diagnosed with the gonorrhea, you should get the treatment immediately. Okay. And if you have the gonorrhea, inform your previous partners that uh, you have been diagnosed so they can start the treatment immediately to stop the further spread you know to other people's you know and well there are certain ways that you can prevent you know like uh, not having sex or abstinence is the only hundred percent uh, protected method you know but apart from that you can uh, take some measures you know like uh, always use the condoms you know and make sure the person does not have the infection 
uh, like your partner, you know, and uh, make sure that your sexual partner receives the treatment from the area if it has been infected, you know. So this way you can decrease the risk, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, or share these videos. Thank you. Goodbye.